హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐఓటి ఎఫ్ఐఓటి ఇన్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ ఎ టాపిక్ కాల్ సెన్సింగ్ అండ్ యాక్చువేషన్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఈస్ సెన్సింగ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ యాక్చువేషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ నో ఓకే సో ఫస్ట్ లెట్స్ డిఫైన్ వాట్ ఈస్ అన్ సెన్సింగ్ మెకానిజం ఓకే సో సెన్సింగ్ ఈస్ అ టెక్నిక్ యూస్ టు గ్యాదర్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ సో ఇట్ కెన్ బి ఫ్రమ్ ఎ ఫిజికల్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ or a process including occurrence of events suppose let us take an environment okay suppose i want to measure the temperature okay in a day in a free air okay so what is the best way to measure the temperature using a particular uh, device which is made up of several components which would be keep on tracking the changing in the temperature in a particular environment okay now uh which are whatever that particular device or an object is sensing the changes in the temperature can be considered as a sensor okay so every second to second or every minute to minute the change in temperature will be measured not only temperature i'm just taking the example but there are several environmental parameters or several industrial parameters which are need to be monitored as well as measured okay so an object performing such an sensing task can be considered as the sensor okay so whatever the uh, phenomena takes place or whatever the changes takes place in the physical world can be observed by the sensor device and these uh, resulting electrical signals okay so whatever the sensor uh, takes the physical uh, values or the physical parameters okay with respect to the environmental or industrial parameters they are uh, just converted into electrical signals which are considered as the output coming out from the sensor okay so what are the parameters the sensor senses that will be converted into electrical signal it can be in an analog mode or a digital mode and these signals are not at immediately ready for the processing okay so they need to go through an a state called conditioning state okay so let's see what is a conditioning st- state okay so a variety or various operations can be applied to the sensor signal to prepare it for the further use okay suppose so all this preparation of this particular electrical signals which are achieved from the sensing mechanism of the sensors okay they should be used for the further use it can be analytics or it can be some sort of results or it can be a movement of a motor or it can be anything so based on the input of the sensor given okay the signal will lead to some sort of output okay so that output is very crucial and important point so the electrical signal which came out of these sensors should be uh, processed through some sort of conditioning state okay now let's see what is that conditioning state so before getting into the analog into digital conversion state we also need to uh, take the sensor values under conditioning state so if you see the overall data acquisition and actuation process there is a sensor state okay so the sensors will be collecting the data of natural elements okay or natural parameters and those uh, parameters will be coming out through a sensor in the form of electrical signals and these electrical signals will undergo conditioning state here conditioning state is indicates can be an improvisation or uh amplification of the signals as the sensor is gathering several data okay time to time as it is changing the electrical signals whatever coming out of the sensors may be having lot of noise or the distortions or sometimes the electrical signals may be weak okay so the conditional helps in strengthening the weak signal and eliminating the unwanted noise okay now this signal will be given to the analog to digital converter so once uh uh if at all we are getting an analog value okay so that should be again converted into digital but most of the sensors right now what we are getting is complete digital but the accurate values uh can be formed or the time to time uh, parameters can be uh taken in an analog form so analog almost all the sensors will be giving the analog values those analog values should be converted into digital and it will be sent to the signal processing now 
the signal processing will be done and it will be again given to the uh, digital to analog converter okay so again that particular digital signal which has been processed will be converted into analog and again it will be given to the conditioning stage again under the conditioning state the uh, signal get amplified and it will be given to the actuators so here the actuators may be some sort of sound some sort of lighting mechanism some sort of movement of motors or anything else okay so this will be always monitored with respect to a particular system okay so it can be in the analytical form or it can be in the graphical form or it can be in a simulation form. it can be anything okay so the process keeps on repeating starting from the sensors conditioning analog to digital conversion the whole process will comes under sensing and that digital data will be again uh, processed signal processing will be done again the digital data will be converted into analog and again this analog signal will be again conditioned like amplified and given to the actuator to perform a particular task in the form of an output and that will be analyzed through a system okay so it can be graphical analytical or uh, the mathematical or anything okay so this particular dac conditioning actuators comes under the actuation uh, mechanism okay so sensing and actuation combinedly does a particular work in order to uh, sense for particular applications now these signals require amplification as i have already said okay so conditioning in the sense the uh, signals will be amplified okay and for further conversion like analog to digital or digital to analog okay so once uh, once the signal has been uh, given okay it will be signal will be given to the actuators okay in order to obtain some sort of output as the, all these points are already discussed at the block diagram okay so the best example like an actuator can be a wall okay so controlling the flow of hot water okay it can be a motor that opens or closes a door or a window okay so these are some of the basic applications okay so it can be a pump that controls the amount of fuel injected into an engine okay so such wireless sensor and actuator networks in short we call it as wsan okay so it takes the command from the processing device like controller or processors and transform these commands into input signals for the actuators so actuators can be motors uh, lights um, uh, props uh, propellers or uh, it can be anything uh, which gives an output okay, or which runs a robot or somewhat like that okay so which interacts with the uh, physical process thereby forming a closed control loop okay so uh, starting from the parameters read by the sensors okay and those signals those signals are converting into electrical signals those electrical signals are under conditioning and they are converted into analog to digital and these digital signals are again processed again they are converted into analog and those analog signals are again fed to an actuators which which per, does a, per, a particular task okay and again it will be analyzed in the with respect to the system it's a continuous closed control loop which keeps on doing infinite times okay this is what the concept is about sensing and actuation okay